Hi there and welcome back. This is Reiki Rita Roberts, Holistic Parenting Coach. And through the intro, we had talked about that we would be discussing how your family has become dysfunctional, basically how it's become fear-based and less love-based. So today, day one, we're gonna be talking about fear in general and sort of how it happens. So up until now, uh, family dysfunction is not your fault. We weren't, as parents, given the tools on how to raise emotionally well and well-adjusted children. You know, in fact, most of us are still operating on our own fears within ourselves. So, you know, right, right up until now, we didn't know better. But starting now, uh, through this teaching and this knowledge, you are going to become aware of how your fear is contributing to the dysfunction and toxic or difficult family relationship with your children and other family members. So we can't blame, we can't say that anymore. Okay, so we're going to talk about fear. All right. Um, so are you the type of parent who feels challenge to say no to their child or is afraid to correct them you know because you fear that things might get worse if you do so you're willing to give in to the demands of your child because you don't want to you know rock the boat and so you're sweeping it all under the rug well i can tell you that fear lives in the dark okay and the only way to heal anything is through awareness and telling the truth about the situation. That's bringing in more light, more energy, because that's where the healing process can happen. As long as you keep sweeping the fear under the rug, sticking your head in denial, and again, in your defense, that's what we're taught to do, right? We're taught to just pretend that everything's fine. But I could tell you that nothing worked in my life and my didn't get the peaceful, loving relationships that I have with my children by sticking my head in the sand. Okay? I had to admit the truth. Just like I had to admit the truth about everything else in my life in order to fix it. Whether it's your, you know, your health, whether it's your, your finances or your debt, right? Whether it's your relationships you have to face the truth otherwise it will never heal so if you're not willing to do that then probably stops right here because this is all about facing your fears that every time you give in to your child right now the reason that you're giving in as well is because your self-esteem is compromised you don't have the confidence that you need to make those boundaries, to set that, you know, those, those rules around the child. And this is causing you unhappiness, all right? So unhappiness, it's a vicious cycle, right? You're unhappy because you can't fix things. And then when you don't fix things, you become more unhappy. And the cycle of dysfunction continues because the child is now more empowered than you are. So fear is the culprit. Fear is the enemy that's causing you all the pain, all right, the emotional pain and the difficulties in your family, all right? So we have to address that fear is the problem. That's the reason. And how does this fear all come? Well, fear basically comes from a loss of energy. Because remember, every decision is based on fear or love. All right, and when your energy is low due to stress, exhaustion, lack of sleep, money concerns, family issues, health problems, pain, whatever the reason is, the lack of exercise, poor diet, all these things contribute to low energy, then you go down. And what happens is you start to parent that way. All right, and remember, your children are feelers, so they're going to feel your energy. 
regardless of what you're saying to them. Even if it's nice, they're not going to feel that it's love. That's the bottom line. That's why it doesn't work. So you can't play the bullshit game. You literally have to change your vibration. You have to raise your energy. Meaning, how do I raise my energy, Rita? You lower the amount of fear in your life. And you raise your energy. So that means facing the truth. All right? Stick your head in denial. It's only going to cause you more problems. So, question is, are you comfortable with the pain? If you're not, then let's move on. So that's what fear is in the family. It causes a lot of problems, toxicity. Now, I'm not saying that you'll never face fear in family or worry. Or, this is human nature. We're always going to have negative emotions, positive emotions. But when you're living more in negative emotions, this becomes, you become complacent, you become comfortable with the pain, and this is where all the problems start to happen. So, yes, you're going to experience negative and positive, you know, issues within your family, but it's all about harmonizing them and balancing them. So when you boost your self-esteem, self-confidence, and you're able to say no with love and respect, okay, communicate that with love and respect, then you set the tone again in the family and you harmonize the balance so that you're operating more in love than in fear, okay? Even when fear comes and all these things come that you didn't expect or sickness, disease, a job loss, you know, whatever it is, um, your child presents you with something difficult that you're not prepared for, you know, you're going to react right away, but then you're going to have the tools to be able to go back and parent with love and respect in a confident, loving way, okay? So that's what causes fear. So today, I hope you understand a little bit about why fear happens in the family and the importance of how fear and love change and, and affect a family and particularly um, family relationships.